Hi there, welcome to chendu.org. Couple of students from my VBA class have asked me a question that they have some data in an Excel file and they would like to split this data into multiple files. Now you can think of this as a, an opposite of consolidation. In consolidation what we do is we take the data that is in multiple places and then we try to bring it all together either in a summary form or in, in the actual data form. Whereas in the reverse of the consolidation, I really have no idea what to call this, so I'm just calling this breaking data into multiple files. What happens is you have some data and you would like to split this data into multiple files. Uh, one of the very good reasons why I can think, uh, why I think somebody wants to do this is because they have all the data in one place and they would like to send individual feeds to uh, various departments or various people or various uh, projects. So for example, what I have here is uh, some fictional sales data uh, that runs from January 2007 all the way until uh, till July 2009. And this data has a couple of columns just like many real life data sets. So we have salesman, region, product, and number of customers, net sales, and profit or loss per row. And this data goes on for, I think, uh, several thousand rows. Yeah, not several thousand, at least a thousand rows. And now what we want to do is we would like to uh, take this data and we know that there are four different salespeople, Joseph, Lawrence, Maria, and Matt. And we would like to split this data into four different files, one each per the salesman. Okay, once the splitting is done, we would have these four files in the same directory where our break data example file is stored. Okay, then uh, we would do whatever we want with these files. For example, we would email them or we would place them in a network drive or we would just save them for backup and archival purpose. Okay. Now let me first show you a demo of how this breaking data thing works and then I will walk you through the VBA code that uh, I have used to do this. As you can obviously guess such breaking of data in, is not possible without VBA because um, Excel by default doesn't support this kind of functionality at least as far as I know. Um, but uh, using a simple VBA code uh, that that's probably 10 or 15 lines you can very quickly extract the data and split it into multiple multiple files. Just to show you how this code is working, I'm just going to keep the folder open as well. So this is the folder where uh, I have saved the um, break data example file. You can see that some extracts have already been generated uh, as of 19th October morning 6.53 a.m. Right now it's about uh, 7.30 or 7.40. So I'll just come back to our Excel file here and I'm just going to click extract button. Okay, I'll click the extract button and I'll jump over to the break data example. And as you can see Excel uh, right now there are about eight files created here. Uh, the extraction is done and you can see that at 7.44 uh, we have created a file named Joseph 19 October 2011 7.44.17. And if I double click and uh, sorry, if I if I open that, you can see that all the data for Joseph alone, nothing else, right? Only for Joseph has been extracted out and placed here. So this would probably have like 250 rows, uh, 270 and only for Joseph. I'm just going to close this and let's come back here and understand what is going on. Uh, there is a, a technique in Excel called as advanced filter and we are using that. With advanced filter the thing is very simple. This is our data and I set up a similar table above with just one row. So whatever is it that I write here, if I apply advanced filter, only that data will be filtered. I have written an article about advanced filter on chendu.org just a couple of days ago. I'm going to place a link to that on this file. So if you are new to advanced filters, go check that out to understand how it works. Now coming back, if I write Matt here, uh, you can see that I have given it a name called Val Salesman. And this entire range is given a name as criteria. Now that is the criteria. And this, this data set here is given the data name as my list, indicating that this is my list of data. 
this naming is not necessary but i just do it out of uh, you know to keep everything clean and nice now what i what we can do is just select any cell inside the my list go to data click on advanced right and then what i'm going to tell excel is hey excel my list range is in that that cell b7 through h1086 you can also use the name here and the criteria range happens to be b3 to h4 so that that is this range right uh, this range here and that's criteria and right now i'm just choosing the option of fill the list in place by that what happens is when the filtering is done the data will remain here but you can also copy it to another location so with this what happens is whatever is the filter output will be copied over to some other range for example from the range uh, columns l through r okay and when you click ok you can see that all the records for mat are extracted and put here so this is the first part of our technique to use advanced filter uh, to extract the data for any given salesman and then what we do is we just iterate through all the salespeople uh, by changing the val salesman to one of the values in the salesman list so we just do this extract the data once the data is extracted we copy it we add a new workbook and paste it there now i'll just walk you through the code so you understand how that works for that i'm going to right click on the sheet name and click on view code and i'll just go to the only module we have available uh, this code is very very simple very straightforward I have not commented it much but you can see what is happening I have some helper macros that uh, I recorded just to see what is going on probably they would have been deleted by the time you download this uh, so the first line is option explicit meaning hey Excel force me to declare everything that I'm using in this macro and then I have two variables declared on the top uh, one is a cell variable which is what we use to iterate through all the all the salesman names that are in this range LST salesman now here the splitting criteria happens to be salesman if you want to do it on monthly basis all you all you got to do is extract the unique months and paste them here and then use that and update that cell instead of this cell okay uh, and cut path as the active workbook dot path along with a slash at the end uh, the reason why I'm saving current path in a variable up front is because we are going to access this multiple number of times in our code and we would be dealing with more than one active workbook uh, more than one workbook at a time so to not confuse Excel or to not change anything I just want my current path to be in a variable up front and we are disabling both screen updating and any alerts this is just for the sake of uh, uh, keeping the macro very very fast and also um, uh, disabling any alerts that come in our way in case there is a replacement of a file or something okay now what we want to do is for each of the salesmen in the range LST salesman so that becomes for each cell in the range LST salesman first thing we need to do is take that salesman and put him in the val salesman here so I just write val salesman equal to cell dot value so the first step is update the sales guy once the salesperson is updated we need to run the filter so we are going to do this range of my list dot advanced filter action is I want to copy the filter outputs uh, criteria range is in the range of criteria and I want to copy it to the range called extract and unique records is false so just extract out everything once the extraction is done this step kind of extracts everything I'm just going to select the range all the values in the range extract and copy them so if I say just range dot extract copy only that, that those values will be copied because I need to have the entire set of values in the extract contiguous values I'm just going to use this Excel down option uh, so this tells Excel that select all the cells that are together in the downward side downside and copy them and once the values are copied I'm going to add a new workbook workbooks dot add gives me a new workbook and I'm going to paste it in the new workbook as it is so once I add a new workbook the new workbooks the first worksheet becomes active sheet and then when we paste the values go and sit there nicely 
then what we want to do is we want to save that active workbook so we want to active workbook dot save as and file name will be uh, wherever is the current path currently ampersand cell dot value which is the salesman's name so i want to oh, name the file as joseph and the format is date month year space hours minutes and seconds dot xlsx and file format is excel open xml workbook which is what the xlsx form format is for and create backup is false so don't create any backups just save it and done and then we just close the active window which happens to be the new workbook that we just added once you close the active workbook the older workbook becomes active workbook so then naturally this guy the this workbook our workbook with break data example becomes active workbook and the next step is to clean up this range right so i'm just going to select this entire range once again and then write the co command clear contents so the range is cleared and then we go through the next sales for next cell now once all the sales people are done we just re-enable both screen updating and display alerts so that we are uh, we are able to see the outputs on the screen okay so the only indication that you get when this program is run is that this cell contains the last salesman that's the only way to see that yeah the extraction is done um, because we have disabled the screen updating you don't see all the uh, flickering that happens while this thing is going on but it is very very fast you can very quickly see in the folder where it is and you can see that the files are created let us just run this once again and see how it works select any uh, it doesn't matter what you select just go and click on extract and you see that uh, windows is busy running this extraction procedure and by the end of extraction our range where extracted cells should be is cleaned up and the extraction is done you can see that four more files have been created and this one is created at 752 that means we have been speaking for about seven seven minutes or so okay so that is our latest extraction it contains the same data so i hope you like this technique of extracting data uh, and putting putting it into multiple files using simple macros and advanced filters now advanced filters are quite powerful and they can do a lot of uh, uh, robust and easy filtering tasks not even easy you know complex filtering tasks also can be done go through my article on advanced filters and see how much more you can customize this for example you could generate files uh, per salesman per region so you can have here we have about three regions uh, each so if i combine that four into three you will get 12 files uh, joseph west uh, joseph north joseph middle lawrence north lawrence west lawrence middle like that and you can use those files to uh, do something else for example you know drive some pivot tables or drive some dashboards or even send the files as an email things like that so i hope you enjoyed this uh, small video lesson on how to break data into multiple files go ahead and share your techniques and ideas with us using comments how you deal with such breaking thing do you copy paste manually or do you use some external database like access to uh, kind of control this this breaking and uh, extraction of data how do you do this so go ahead and share it with us through comments and i would like to learn from your experience thank you so much for your time and attention and i wish you an excellent day ahead bye